NBC. With the uh, overturning of Roe v. Wade, New York State expanding abortion access for those traveling to, from states where it's restricted or even banned. Capital correspondent Amal Taliji has the latest on how Governor Hochul plans to direct abortion funds. Places like Western New York are seeing a, a major increase in women from Pennsylvania, which has more restrictions. Ohio, uh, who's seeing a surge of cases from elsewhere. They're coming now to our providers, and we saw this, we knew this would happen. Today, Governor Hochul announcing $10 million in state money will be used to go towards 63 clinics across New York. In part, this money will be used to hire more employees for these facilities, which she says will be necessary. But pregnancy centers across New York don't agree with this. So a government's first and primary role is to protect all people equally without partiality. And as soon as we start parsing out who qualifies as a person under the law and who does not qualify as a person under the law, that becomes the foundation for great social and systemic injustice. And that's what we've seen with abortion. Compass Care is a pro-life medical pregnancy center. They provide pregnancy testing, ultrasounds, abortion pill reversal, and more at no cost to the patient. Since Roe v. Wade was overturned, Compass Care, along with 70 other pregnancy centers, have been vandalized. The one in Buffalo was firebombed, allegedly by a pro-abortion group called Jane's Revenge. Hardin says this is by definition a hate crime. And I think um, the FBI, uh, Merrick Garland, uh, Joe Biden, uh, New York Governor Hochul, uh, Attorney General Letitia James, they need to treat it as such. And in terms of taxpayer dollars being used for abortion services. If, if uh, the government is going to start doling out, um, you know, millions of dollars out, outside of a grant process to a favored group, it needs to be even handed. If they're going to send out $20 million to, to increase security at, uh, at abortion clinics that are not being threatened, by the way, and they haven't been targeted for attack like we have. She should also provide it for, for those that, for us, for other pro-life organizations that are still being threatened and still being attacked. Governor Hochul plans on increasing access to over-the-counter contraception as well as abortion pills, which she says the White House is in full support of. Reporting at the Capitol, Amel Taleji. Coming up, 